What are you grunting for? You know, you gotta take a razor blade after that because it's got a little overspray on the inside. I don't know if it's from that dry shaft paint that went on or not. I don't know, you didn't bother to protect the glass and you just put it in the back of that truck with a million other things. I did protect it, it didn't break. <laughs> I guess you did do that. That's right, give credit where credit is due. Yeah. All right, it's hot out there, but it's not in here. But it's not exactly cool in here either. 72, it's fine. All right, I think I'm going to go get cleaned up. Oh, dirty. Might need to clean that a couple of times. Finally getting around to cleaning this glass to put up our stickers we got on Power Tour. Let's just spray it one more time. Let's see. There's a pile of them. Driven, racing oil, carb cheater, continental, HP tuners, Mally pistons. Oh, in this one, auto. Metal Direct, Go Drive It, McLeod Performance Engineers Driveline Components, another Driven Racing Oil, AMS Oil, Painless Performance Products, it's Bristol, baby! Project X, QA1, let's see. Start the biggest one first. Where shall we put it? Just discard the trash over here for now. Let's put this down in the corner somewhere. Well, down in the corner somewhere. Not very good. Come on now. There we go. That's one. Let's see. Where am I going to put this one? Let's put this one on. All right. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it straight here. Circles. 
This is one of my favorites that we got. Go drive it. Work so hard. Go drive it. Enjoy it. There's that one. Let's see. This one might fit up here somewhere. Might not be putting these on very straight. Kind of leaning over. Let's see if this will fit here. Look at there. Or look at there. I'm not sure you can see that, but might be out of your view. Let's see what we got here. Oh my, did I not get it good? There it goes. Hmm, Let's see what else there is. Let's do this one. Yeah, that one worked there. Hmm. Thought it might be too long, but probably annoying some people putting these stickers on them, but let's see. Project X. be a good one to put above, I think. Put that above. Project X. There we go. It's Bristol, baby! Bristol Motor Speedway. I think we got that at the hotel we stayed at. Continental one over here. Yeah, let's put that one up there. I'm sure we'll get more. Mm -hmm. All right. This is HP Tuners. This is one of them rub ones you have to rub on. That rooster, I don't know if you can hear him. He's got something to say out there. This one's going to be a little bit more trickier to take off.
Oh no, can't barely see it, but that's cool. HP tuners. Okay, that's all the stickers I had. I mean, there were some duplicates, but we both got them. We got a couple spots here, here, and here that we can add to later on. In fact, I think I have some in the house from some fans that we need to get up here. But there you have it. Not too exciting, but glad you came along. So I'm taking off this trunk weather stripping here. You can see all the clips. And uh, came across this. Can you all see what that is? That was holding the two weather strippings together. Here's the other part. Another one. Pencil. <laughs> Ain't that something? Yeah, pulled all the clips from the weather stripping for the trunk seal. So now I just need to clean it up, get ready for the new seal. Okay, I'm going to put some of this wax and grease remover where the old trunk seal weather stripping was and get all the debris off. There we go. The little tab didn't want to bypass the little plastic piece. Alright. Clean it all up. It would be easier to remove trunk lid, but I recommend you do a little bit of this at a time um, as far as when you're putting the weather strip on like six inches at a time or so. And then use some tape to hold it in place overnight. That's what I'm going to do. side where it isn't all greasy. You just want to try to keep your fingers from touching it and adding those body oils and greases and things to the prep surface.
Be a little tricky getting down in there, maybe. Yeah. Kind of slide over it one more time. Now I'm going to let that dry. This is the 3M Super Weather Strip and Gasset Gasket Adhesive that I am going to use. Fortunately, it's yellow, so I got to be careful with it when I apply it. So I don't make a mess. All right, that's what I'm gonna do then. This is what I got done so far, and I've just come around this corner. I've never done this before, so don't have Mr. Heavy Chevy here to tell me how to do it right. <laughs> we'll try to figure it out. Says to let it come down a little bit let some air to it for a few seconds and then push it in there and you want to make sure you get those little clips and then holes and I'm just taking this weather stripping well excuse me taping down the weather stripping with this tape to hold it in place. Seems as though the one in the video was for a different um, a 55 or something like that. I don't think it had the same curve that this 57 does, but he said in the video that it was for 55, 56, and 57. So, I'm just going with it. Putting the adhesive on there. That can get a little stringy. Okay. Push in there. I'm gonna let that air get to it for a few seconds push it back up in there make sure it's tight where it's put in there down for about five seconds. I'm going to tape it every little bit. Make sure it's tight. So it adheres overnight. Try to get this corner really good. Keep the water getting in your trunk. So you want a good seal. And I'm just going to keep that process going. Okay, I've got it all the way across the bottom. Started out here at the middle as they recommended. I came around the side. And underneath the front 
of the trunk lid by the back glass and now I'm going to come up around this corner and around till I come back here. Here and then I'll tape it. Making sure I get them clips in. I said to let the air get to it for a few seconds. get to it. Okay. I'm going to tape this corner. I just don't feel like this corner is going as good. Like, maybe my clip is not in there. Feels like it is. Does not feel like it's sitting flush in this corner. Or I got the adhesive. I mean, it's flush against the top. Maybe I just need to tape it. I sure hope I'm doing this good. I don't have Mr. Heavy Chevy here to tell me if I'm doing it right or wrong. I'm just hoping for the best. I'm sure he'll wonder why I did it the way I did it, but I did watch a video and uh, went according to their recommendations, so I'm just hoping that. The fellow on YouTube knew what he was talking about. I'm going to trust that he did. I've been just giving it like five seconds. Mm -hmm. 
here getting to it. It'll look like your seal's going crooked on the 57. Didn't look that way, but I think he was installing it on a 55, but it's ideally the same thing. But it'll look like your seal's going crooked, but I think that's just the curvature of the trunk. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, there we go. Hold her in place. Closer. Bring you all back when I get her done. Okay. Did okay until I got to here. You can see where my hole is, but here's where my clip is, and here's the next hole. No clip. So my holes are not lining up with my clips. I did not have that issue up to this point all the way around so I'm not really sure what's happening there um so I think I'm gonna have to wait till Mr. Heavy Chevy comes back so he can tell me how to move on from here I was really hoping I'd finish this project without him but everything else seems to have fit and lined up hmm. anyway when you get to this point you're gonna have some access you wanna get it about I'm sorry you're gonna have some access you wanna get it about a quarter of an inch over because in the heat and everything it will shrink and you don't wanna have a gap so for reference, make sure you don't cut off too much. So I had some time to think about it and I really want to get this done so it's completed by the time that Mr. Heavy Chevy returns. So what I've done is, he told me how to cut the seal where it meets. So what I did is I lined up the um tabs and cut the access and i'm just gonna have to meet the seal here and here here and here so that um they'll line up with the holes and we won't have to make any more hopefully that'll work mr heavy chevy will be happy okay that seemed to have worked i don't know what the seams are going to look like because i had to put a seam here to get those tabs to line up and then of course the natural seam that is supposed to be there is right there so I put some extra tape to help kind of keep those together and I hope that that will work looks like it should and this is what I cut off one end and another little piece on another end and then this was my Access leftover piece. So there it is. Gonna let that sit overnight. Take tape off tomorrow and see how the trunk closes. Thanks for watching.